Okay, ready? <clears throat> Play crew, sit back, relax, enjoy. With that said, like, comment, subscribe, share, and don't forget to put the notification bell for more content like this. With that said, let's get the live stream on. You know that I've been working on a five day challenge and it's been very difficult for me. Let's just get the um, maintenance stuff out of there and then we'll continue with the actual live stream that is my gear that I use for the channel. I'm gonna go and pick up the gear from the back and show um, cue cards reading it because I don't know the whole gear on top of my head. Well, the maintenance that I'm doing right now is the five day challenge. It's Sunday to Friday. It's very difficult. I, I didn't know that I picked the worst week to do it because I've been busy. I just got home and I decided to do this video because I couldn't produce an edited well video. So I said, let me go live. This is not TED Talk. This is a regular live of what equipment I use. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. You know the format. I'm going to talk for a while and then at the end, I'm going to leave the floor open. And I'm going to try to go, like I do so, half an hour to an hour. Let's see, depending on question. Thanks for coming, folks. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like. So that would be greatly appreciated and that helped the channel. So that out of the way, let's get started with a background. I, I enter, I enter, this is how I got my equipment. So let's start from there. Let's start the narration of the story from A to C. So let's do it. So I started, you know, um, down, um, entering different giveaways because I needed equipment. At that time, I didn't have funds. I was just a beginner YouTuber like everybody else. I was recording a number of barrier phones, but the phone that I was recording, Nexus 5 and LG, LG was giving up on the audio. So no matter what lapel mic I buy, I guess it was not intuitive with LG. So I was getting frustrated. I said, what can I do? What can I do? I bought a camera and I didn't read the description with a 5100 Nikon, D Nikon, something like that. I could, so what I did, I give it away to a YouTuber because I, it was cheap, probably less than $300, but he had no lens. The reason I give it away because I want a package on a giveaway. And I'm gonna get up and get a couple of stuff and come back quick. Just bear with me, folks. I forgot one thing to get out of the list. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I should have been more repeat prepared. Okay, here's my list that I got. This is the YouTuber that I want to give away. He gave a starter kit package, and the starter kit package consists of the Lumia G7 camera, Panasonic. Then he gave away a Panasonic um, lens, which is the which is the 25 millimeter f1 ASPH. I'm gonna say all this, and then I'm gonna repeat it again, showing the product. And also, I got a shock. Um, shotgun mic, I think it's a shotgun mic from the actual Panasonic from him. Everything total to 1400, that's what he said. And here's the name of the YouTuber. Y'all could check and y'all could follow. Here's the name. If I'm, if it's wrong, sorry, I apologize if it's upside down. And that's the name. It's Max Jure. It's almost close to 100,000. Focus, focus. And, um, other equipment that I bought, let me go get it. Sorry, once again, not 100%, because I just got home. Now I'm 100%. I don't use that, I'm not gonna mention that. I got a little mic, but it's not good. So the two items that I bought is the Rode Mic Video Micro, and I also bought a lens from Vivitar that it give you, it's a serious one, it give you a, an adapter to adapt to different cameras to make your shot wide angle if you're blogging. Mm -hmm. 
Those are my, sorry to getting close. Those are my camera gear that I have. Let's start with the demonstration. First is the camera. Let me pick it up. Here's the Lumia G7 that I want from him. Actually it comes with the kit lens and the kit lens, let me see what it is, the kit lens. I think it's, I'm not 100% sure of the kit lens. I'm looking at it, I pointed, I don't know if y'all could read that, sorry. I should have wrote more information, but I just got home late. Just, okay. It's like that because I installed a screen protector, like a hard screen protector, and I don't know why the adhesive didn't went all through. This bottom piece is for the next item that I, that I bought. Besides that, it's the Adobe Gorilla Pot that it came with it. Because I bought the Adobe Gorilla Pot, the micro video, micro, and the actual white adapter lens with my money. The rest was given by him. This camera is amazing. It do, thanks, thanks. This camera is very amazing. It do 4K um, 30 frames per second. I love it. If you go and look on YouTube, people have done amazing stuff. Yes, the number one con that a lot of people complain is the um, autofocus. I don't see it for me because the type of videos that I do, but also I've seen people blog with this camera more than 100 days or about 100 days and it's been working. They made it work because you could do um, peaking focus and you could do the I show peaking focus and they track you. And yes, like, um, Alan from Foam Take Up Work Half One, I guess I talked about it so much that he went on my recommendation and got one. I much appreciate that because this is a well built, good camera. And for the money right now, it's excellent 4K budget camera. It got all the belt and whistles and everything you can mention. There's the flash. I'm loving this. This kid has saved me. I learned so much. The only thing that I wish it had, it had like um, the Sony's, um, I think it's Sony. RA or whatever the new Sony that came out, which had the ability to have two two actual micro SD cards so you could record from one to the other one. Yes, this, this company is a boss. I'm loving everything for what it is. So I'm gonna continue showing my equipment. When I finish, I'm gonna take questions and you can ask me different numerous stuff, but I, this is all is based on my camera gear that I do. <laughs> when you give me one, do, one million views on a video, I'll buy you a camera. That's for Alan Foam Take Up Work, my brother. I'm showing different stuff going on around. I got that strap. I took out that strap because I couldn't handle the strap. It was getting on my way. I didn't want to drop the camera. It got all the bells and whistles. I'm very... Please with the camera and it comes in two colors. It has black with um silver accent and this is the all black stealthy one. Okay, next equipment. Next equipment is a prime lens and I got the information. It's the Panasonic 25 millimeter 1.F7 ASPH. Put this right here. Well, the definition of a prime lens is a fixed focus. It doesn't have a focus, a focus ring to like zoom in, zoom out. It's a fixed focal length. That is the definition of a prime. I love it because this prime lens is under $200 right now, and currently you could. Get some bokeh shot, like no tomorrow. Bokeh, bokeh for days. I'm loving it. This was part of also of the giveaway. All the items I'm gonna list at the beginning is the giveaway. And then what I bought with my own money, I'm gonna put it as a secondary. And this Lumix G, that's the lens. 
Very happy with it. Very happy with it. Bokeh for the win. Bokeh for the win. That's the style of recording. AKA Reggie Yu Bokeh. That's all I call. So I'm showing you very stealthy. Look at the size, very small to carry and do different product shot and different areas. Cause I'm thinking going outside when the weather get better to do different product shot. It's very good and handy and small to carry. You see the size of it? Got a hold in, I want to drop it, make a mistake. Very small. Next item that I want, It's a shotgun mic that I never used because I don't know. I was, I'm a newbie. I didn't get it to work like I, I wanted it. So I guess I was doing something wrong. Here is it with a dead cat. But this right here with a dead cat. Uh, show you a little bit. This is where it come. Uh, okay, I got the name of it. It's a Panasonic Stereo Shotgun mic Microphone. And it's the model DMW-MS2. That's what it's the model. Put it right here if y'all can see that. Take a screenshot if you can't read it. What a wind, muff, a dead cat, whatever you want to call it. So... That's the, those are the three equipment that I want with the actual giveaway. Now I mentioned the equipment that I bought. Put this over here. Audio, best audio on the 70 bucks, 60 something. It's the Rode Micro Video. Rode makes some, some awesome audio equipment. I'm in love with the Rode line. Very affordable, very affordable and cheap, but the audio is amazing that come out of it. Especially for product, shot, for blogging and everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's the cable, this is the cable they put it here. But also you could buy another cable. I'm not sure of the terminology is RT or RT something, and you can connect to a phone. Yes, I got a I got a camera bag. But it's a slingshot. I'm gonna do that in another video. I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show the sling. Well, matter of fact, I'll show it right now. Because it's part of the camera gear. So I'm not gonna deny people with that. That'll be the last thing that I'm gonna show. And once again, I'm not sure of the name of the camera back, but I'm gonna continue. Last item that I got. It's a Vivitar Series 1. This is an adapter lens with the kit lens to... Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks, I appreciate it. This is a Vivitar, a Vivitar Series 1. And this is the, um, it's a lens that give you um, a wide, so you can block and all that. This is the ring to connect it. Let me open it and show you. And it comes, thanks, thanks, I appreciate it, Apple. Apple Watch World. So here is it. I'm just continuing with my five day video challenge. You see how big is that? They come two lengths in one. So the first one, I'm gonna read it. It's a Vivitar high definition optical lens and it's 0 0.3 X times 52 millimeter wide angle lens. Japan optics, that's what it was made. On the second one, you can separate it. This is the one that I was carrying when I went to meet um, Apple Watch World on the meetup. I'm opening, if I can figure it out. Give me a second. Right here, this is the micro. This is the micro aspect of it. This is how I got some shots in one of my videos that I did for the case review. Put it back together and it converts to the wide angle lens.
Put everything back. Thanks everybody for the feedback on my previous video that I did was on my iPhone A+. I'm getting a lot of compliments the way that I did the intro. I'm very happy. We just try to be different and creative and I'm glad that y'all liking it and y'all enjoying it to the best ability. Let me put this away because I don't want to drop nothing. Even though this was not expensive at all. Honestly, I found it on Amazon. $20, $15 to $20. I don't recall, but it was no more than $20. And you can get different sizes. I'm trying to get a bigger size. When I blog, I have more range. You don't have to waste money on a lens that is expensive over three, four hundred when you can get this. Oh no, that's some, that's some, that's that doesn't bother me. I'm fine with it. Trust me, um, Apple Watch World. I got videos over a year, close to nine thousand. So it doesn't really bother me, you know. Right now, I'm gonna leave the, the floor open to ask questions. So yes, um, phone take at work, I'm gonna hit you up and give you the one that I got, all the description and everything, and then you just get, it, get the same thing, but bigger. Make sure that the length, the focal length is bigger, so if you wanna block, it's better. And then I got a video that I'm gonna send to you that I got all the settings that I save. Hopefully I save it on my favorites that you could do um, um, auto-focusing by itself and you could block yourself and it'll track your face. That's what, I, that's what I'm doing for my next blog. But it's been too cold, it's raining, so I haven't had the chance to blog. So that's the equipment that I use for the channel. There's one more equipment that I forgot, the Mighty Tripod. I got two tripods that I did a video, got deleted. Some tripod that I bought, small metal. I don't recall the name of it. Oh, I got the name of it. It's Ready Cam, and it's the MT-10. Sorry, I was reading the tripod. But let me get the infamous vlogging tripod. Don't want to scratch my table, so I got it right here. The, the Joby Gorilla, but I'm trying to pick the black one. Um, Because this one, I might sell it. Excuse me, I got something in my eyes. I might sell this one and get the black one. This one is in perfect condition and everything. This has saved me numerous times. This is good. The black one is, um, I think it's three, three something. Because they got the number. The three is the uh, amount of weight you can put in your camera. The five is for the heavy um, DX mark and all that. Camera from um, Canon and all that. This has been very healthy. I just want the black one because it will be matching and all stuff. when I go different events and different stuff and different projects that I do. So, so folks, this is the last equipment that I have. I all I need lighting and tripod and a bigger tripod, but I'm working with what I have. So I'll put this away. Let me get back to the conversation. Place the share. Now the floor is gonna be open for discussion. What do you want to know? and everything. The last thing that I forgot that was mentioned by, I think it was phone take up work, Alan, the camera case that I have. Let me get it and show y'all. Okay, I'm back, sorry for that. Here's the camera case. It's a slingshot that go to side to side. It go like this, side to side. Like you put it sideways. And it's very padded in the back. It costs less than $30 on Amazon. It's from Altura. They got a channel on YouTube. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's the last thing. This is the bag that I use for every day around local um, shooting. Got this little straps, and I'm gonna show you what these straps are for. These straps are for safety. Hello, hello, thanks for coming in. Welcome, official key. And here's the straps. So when you open it this way, 
and you got it on your body, it'll stop right here. It'll let the zipper go no longer. Due to the fact that's a safety issue, you could get your equipment, boom, right there. It will flap all the way at all. Also right here, I forgot that I got. This is another um, thing for my camera. And this is our professional um, filter that you put on top of your camera and it gives you the ability to have your your thing um, dark. Checking it out, I forgot to show you this. Put it, because that's this is very healthy for the sun when you're recording on daylight. Hold it like that, put it back in, I don't want to drop it, I forgot that I had this. Having used it because it's been winter. Polarized, that's correct. Thanks for correcting me. That's the, the proper term. Much appreciated, Jason Gill. So, that's what I have right now. Put that over there. That's one of my lens cap. So, here, here's the camera inside. It had the middle to put the camera in two slots that you could um, build any way to put lenses. Not done yet with this. I'm gonna close it. I don't wanna drop nothing. Front pocket, I got a clean cloth man, battery, stuff like that, and my charger. Y'all can see that? Sorry if I'm not holding it right. Put it, show you one more time. The, the company is Altura. Look it up, and I'm gonna spell Altura. A-L-T-U-R-A. And those, you can find it, the channel on the Actual YouTube, they got a channel. It's well padded, it's everything. Look at the patty in the back. Look at this padding, extra padding. This is the best investment that I make on the $30. About $30, I think I bought it. It's very nice, stealthy looking, and classic to go on. And it's good and small and compact for day usage. Not for really long, prolonged traveling, traveling section that you need more equipment. So that's my, that's, that's my equipment that I use to record my videos, my, um, my production. So I just want to add one more thing. Thanks, 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 thanks. So I want to add more thing, one more thing that I, it's not about the equipment. I just want to make um, a little um, talk about my five day video challenge quick. I know this is not the topic for it, but I want to mention that people have been asking me. To be honest, it's a challenging, it's hard because currently I don't have internet, so I'm thinking with my internet. It's a long story. I caught ties with the company. Everything had to, had to go. So I was just not very happy. So I've been doing videos and trying to edit, edit, doing the, edit all day, whatever, night, and then daytime trying to get a free Wi-Fi from the community center where I live, which is two doors down, which is nothing. So that's what I've been doing. So it's very hard, it's a challenge that I did. Let me tell you the reason that I did the five day challenge. It starts from Sunday to Friday. And Friday I'm gonna close with a bank with my actual disc setup. This setup evolution 3.0, not the final. Repeat, this setup 3.0 evolution, not the final. The people might mistake that. The final is gonna be all the peripherals um, run of my laptop, keyboard, monitor, mouse, and you know, the whole nine yard, that'll be the last one. When I get the funding, hopefully to finish it by the year, because I'm buying piece by piece. So now that I got that away, those um, maintenance, let's get back with the topic. That's the equipment that I have. And everything that I talked today is gonna be on the description below. And repeat again, if you're part of the replay crew, just sit back and relax. Now let's get back with the show. So any questions that you have folks, let me know. And tomorrow's video, I'm working. I'm working on my headphones that I bought. It's um, thirty dollars wireless headphones. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm working on that and trying to edit it and finish it and have it ready for tomorrow. Honestly, before I get away with the topic of the challenge, it's a very hard challenge because I thought I was gonna have an easy week. I didn't have to do you know personal life or do personal stuff. 
you know, my parents are certain age, so I got to take care of them. So, so yes. So if I could do more, after I finish this five day challenge, I'm gonna go to two days video per week. I'm gonna be realistic. I'm gonna do what I could do. And the reason that I'm doing two videos a week, if I could do more, I do more because it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Quality does matter. The quality is what I'm trying to improve and take the channel to the next level. Reason for, yeah, I appreciated that I won all this gear and then it came on a handy time and it propelled me to the next level to learn because I was a newbie on cameras. I didn't know nothing. I had to watch tons of... Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, it just, I, I just don't want to make content just to make content and be subpar. That's the key word. I don't want to be kindergarten content. I want to be, but due to certain level. That's what I did, what I did with the last video. It was a dope video because I worked hard. I did the intro different. I just didn't want to do the usual um, review my iPhone on the everybody do. You know, everybody's putting the screen of the app over here and then they're talking. I wanted to interact differently, you know what I'm saying? You can't have a copy carbon of somebody else. I know there's so much you could do with those type of videos. I was trying to be creative. So yes, th that's the gear that I have to produce video. Well, I can't answer the question, what is the best carrier to go with? Let me be genuine and honest why I cannot answer it. It depends what part of, of, of United States. Well, I'm in United States, so I'm gonna speak about United States. Not everywhere has the same coverage. So it, it's subjective. Yes, we make fun of spring, but you could be in the boondock and spring could be the only thing that worked there. So you got to adapt to whatever works, whatever technology they have, whatever towers that is feeding the area. Because you could be on a rural area or on a, you know, like small suburb area that only takes certain network. And you can, you don't have the ability to go with, with other networks such as Verizon uh, or T-Mobile. Personally, I'm in 11 and a half years with T-Mobile. No complaint. You know, I mean, you know, every time I call during the daytime, I'm in a special tech support group because of the gear that I have and the loyalty to the company. I'm very happy with it because it works with my area that I live. So to answer that question, there's no concrete answer to answer which carrier is the best because it's subjective. It depends on the area that you live. Some may work better than others and some may not. Getting back to my gear, the reason that I took time to learn my gear, to, to hone my talent, to better myself, to, be, thank, thanks, to better myself is because I expect me, myself, and I to have a certain level of it. Let me give you a background of me. Three years and a half of TV production in high school. So it's like my life's coming back in the circle. I'm doing production now. Mind you, I'm older than everybody. But if I show you the way that I used to produce Vegas, you're like, what? Say what? Yeah, it was big, clunky, VH tapes, VH tapes. But that's gone. That's the past. Now I'm in the present. So I'm be learning everything and working. So my ultimate goal is to take the next step to the next level of my channel. And the intro, thanks for asking Alan, the intro was done on Premiere. But let me let me tell you what Premiere product, because it's not Premiere, it's not Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a version of Adobe Premiere, it's called Adobe Premiere Elements. And it's a condensed version of Adobe Premiere. It's cheaper. You could buy that in Photoshop, less than on $150 around there in Amazon. It's a condensed version. If you cannot afford the real deal, then you get that condensed version, but it gives you everything. The intro is I took different filters and different areas and I was trying it to see what I could come up because I came with the idea of filming myself on the phone. I'm talking about a phone, so I decided to film myself like that. And then I threw a I threw a filter and I edited the filter more 
and more to have a grainy look like the old style. What I did, I color correct, I color corrected. You know how to get the the hues, the contrast, you know, the brightness, the darkness. I kept messing with that. It took me a lot of hours. You see, when I posted the video that I couldn't do it because my internet failed, I don't have internet for now. And I posted, it and I think you hit it in like um, Alan from, from, from Take Up Work. It was very challenging, but I put myself out there, and then I said, you know, I need to turn it down. If I'm doing five days a week video, I can be doing crazy, crazy graphic, intense, intensive video, you know, um, graphical, because it's going to be difficult. I can't produce that every day. I'm doing five days video. So it's a challenge. If I can't do a video, I'll do a live stream. You see, that's a difference. So I'm working very hard. And I once again want to thank everybody. I'm most appreciated for all, 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 all you being there. I'm glad that you are part of my team, part of my world. You liking what I'm producing. I have videos from day one to now. I never delete no video due to the reason I look back and I see my journey, my growth. Like John Hill said, he had a, um, a closing line is all about pro progress daily and I say NT natural progression if you're not moving forward you're not learning by now if you're a youtuber and you're doing this for a couple of years you gotta be on the next level you can't stay stagnant and do the same thing let me open this item and talk about it and show the pores of a case sometimes I do that okay I got a comment let me read it Well, currently I don't have no lighting. I'm buying an umbrella, uh, umbrella kit that I saw on Amazon next month. So what I'm doing is I'm recording daytime, having all the lights that I have in my house all on to the best ability so I could have natural light to help me to do the videos. Because when you do lighting, it, it's a process. You gotta have, you know, the back, the front, the filter, the key light. You know, you gotta get decent lighting to um, get decent. With your video that's my next topic not my next topic my next area that i'm working to improve on my videos lighting so i've been looking at different lighting i don't want to get soft box because i'm in a, i'm in my bedroom i got a one bedroom apartment so i don't have space a lot so i'm trying to work with the area so i think uh umbrella lights will be the best thing to work you know i could you know fold them fold them Put them away in the closet and stuff like that. As you see, that's the closet door that I'm pointing at. I don't have too much space, so I'm working what I got. So that's what it. Well, folks, any other questions you want to ask? You're welcome. I'm gonna stay here. Um, two more minutes. Uh, I just wanted to make a video. I didn't want to give up on my promise, my promise to myself to continue to grow. The next hashtag that I'm doing is hashtag. The road to 1,000. Once again, repeat quotes, two quotes, one done by me and one done by Trey Shelton. I repeat it numerous times, but I like this quote. It all starts with you. My quote for my channel, text for your needs. That's my channel. Ready? To enrich your life for a better tomorrow. Don't let technology run your life. To enrich your life for a better tomorrow, don't let technology run your life. Breaking it down. To enrich your life is to better yourself and be productive with technology. Don't let technology run your life. Don't waste your time on technology and stay watching videos after video if the videos are not teaching you, informing you, and taking you to the next level. So what I'm doing now is working on my next social media that is uh, Instagram that I love. I'm doing stories and I'm taking it to the next level, doing different kind of stories pertaining to the channel when I'm doing a video and having, you know, like type of stuff, a cool delay with the video. So like I'm dropping a video and do it like that. It's all about the self growth, grow within yourself. And also I got a video that I did talking about a content creator, YouTube, how to engage your audience, how to be a better YouTuber. And I hope you can watch that video. I'm gonna link it right here and y'all like it. And also I'm gonna link the person that I got the giveaway in the package that is awesome I'm very happy my channel is starting to grow because I'm putting the time you know as most of y'all are youtubers if y'all don't constant 
constant, constantly upload, you're not going to grow. That was my mistake that I did in the past. That's the past. Living in the past, that's the past. I'm living in the now and the today. So, folks, you have any more questions before I close this? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You, you, and you, and you, I appreciate you. Thanks for being part of my journey. With that said, have a blissful night, and I'll see you all in the next one. Much love. Peace.